Not that long ago, we had um, issues with Android emulators. They were slow, they were buggy. Well, they were mostly slow and it took a heck of a long time to wait until they even start up. Well, folks, I've just tried something out. The Apple Silicon Android emulator is insanely fast. And what I haven't tried yet is actually pinning it against the Xcode iOS simulator. That's always been fast and it's especially fast on the M1. Here I got the MacBook Air, the Apple Silicon versions of Xcode has been really fast. You've seen my videos on that. And you might have also caught my video testing the preview of Android emulator. This is the first time it was supported and it was still being built up. Well, folks, now it's out. It's out and Android Studio for Apple Silicon is out as well. That's what I got installed right here. So I'm going to install the new Android emulator that supports Silicon. And we're gonna see how fast it is. Let's do it. I'm gonna create a brand new project here and it's just gonna be a really simple basic activity project. This is all fine. Okay, now let's go to Tools and AVD Manager for Android virtual device. You can see that I don't have anything installed right now. By the way, this is Android Studio and I've just done a video on Android Studio comparing it to the Android Studio running in Intel emulation mode versus the native Apple Silicon Android Studio. Check that video out, I'll link to it up here. All right, so here's AVD Manager. I'm gonna create a new virtual device and let's create a Pixel 4 next. All right, now it automatically recommends that I download API level 31, ARM 64 version. If we go to x86 images, you'll see that there's a bunch of x86 images. These will work fine as well, but yeah, I'm gonna go for this release name S, API level 31. This is the new ARM 64 and I'm gonna download that one. Now, even though the Gradle builds don't take a long time anymore and startup of Android Studio doesn't take a long time, the downloads still take as long as downloads take for these things. So I gotta wait for that. Okay, it's done. Let's click finish here and next. And I'm gonna label this one arm just so I know. Finish. Okay, there's my device. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off. And look how quickly it starts up. Now, I've already tried this before. That's how I know, but it's really fast. This is the first time I'm running it, by the way, which usually is a little bit slower than other times, but you can see that it's still pretty fast even the first time that I ran it. There it is, it's already up and running. And here's my app. This is just a basic hello world, basic activity. Now I'm also gonna have my handy little stopwatch here. So I'm gonna start that up as soon as I click the play button so we can time it. All right, and let's go. Well, this is a little embarrassing. I got an error here. Uh, so folks, if you run into this error right here, it says Android Gradle plugin requires Java 11 to run. And this is something you might run into if you're upgrading to this Arctic Fox version of Android Studio. Now I was using Java 1.8 and it requires 11. So head up to preferences, then build execution deployment, open up build tools. Let's expand that, pop open Gradle. And then over here under Gradle JDK, you can select a different one. So here is embedded a JDK version, which I'm gonna use right now, which is version 11 for the sake of this demo. And I'm gonna click okay here. Okay, now we should be good to go. I'm gonna hit the play button and start on my phone at the same time. Let's go. All right, it's taking a little bit of time here, isn't it? Build successful in 22 seconds and there's the app. Total 25 seconds. So not too bad. Now if I stop this and click this again, you see it pops open almost instantly, 315 milliseconds. That's really fast. Now just for comparison, I'm curious about Xcode. So I'm going to create a new project here. It's gonna be also a basic Hello World project. We're gonna do an iOS app next. Now I did have the Android emulator already started up. so wouldn't be fair if I don't start the simulator first, right? Let's start the simulator and I think we're ready to go. I'm really nervous here. I don't know. Let's go. Boom. Is this going to be 25 seconds? Probably. I think it's already done. There's no UI in the default app. So, oh no. Ah, I'm going to have to do that again because it didn't show up. Let's erase all content and settings to make sure we don't have any trace of this app on the phone. And we're going to do this one more time. Let's do it. Ready? I'm going to press run and start on my phone at the same time. Let's go. Build succeeded. That's pretty fast. I'm just waiting for the text to show up and that's 
5.53 seconds. Definitely this is a native device designed by Apple for Apple machines running on Apple Silicon. So hard to beat that speed. But Android emulator has done a really fantastic job with their latest installment. And I think it's pretty stable now. It looks like I haven't tested all the features of it yet, but it's looking pretty good. They even have a lot of the apps that we typically use like Chrome, camera, Gmail, Google photos and so on already implemented looks like in 64-bit arm so there you go folks that's the new emulator if you missed my video comparing the speed of android studio on arm versus rosetta translation check it out right there have a good one and i'll see you next time